All right, my boys. The time has come to find out what this shadow duelist thing is. Konami just popped this out as a surprise, and I happen to be ready to record it. So let's get in there, my boy, for a live reaction to the shadow duelist. Who do you think it's going to be? I think I said earlier that it was going to be uh, Kai Sanat. I think everybody else was saying it was going to be that world champion guy, uh, uh, the runner guy. Uh, dang, his name just slipped my mind. But uh, I don't know. I have no idea where Konami's going with this. But uh, nice that we'll be able to follow up here to that first video. And let's see how they cooked. Let's see what they did. Live here in Sunshine, <laughs> Los Angeles, California, at the Konami Esports Studio. I thought something was wrong with the audio for a second. You action ahead of us. I'm your host, Dan. Set up or something. Joined by the legend himself, Billy Break. Thank you, Kangas. Always Stephen a Kangas to and We've Billy Break. Our recent YCSs, the NAWCQ, but that's TCG. Before we jump into the masterful thing, I do want to make one quick announcement about the trading card game, and that's the <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh TCG Forbidden Limited list will be updated this Saturday. <laughs> real fast, real fast, right real fast. We didn't forget. <laughs> tournament all Konami. month. We've been receiving hints and teases as to who is behind the mask of Nocturne. I gotta say, it's been grinding my dual disc the entire time trying to guess grinding who it possibly could. Disc. The community has been weighing in on that as well. Uh, but see. so far, we still are <laughs> uncertain of who it is. Who could be Nocturne behind that mask? Yeah, this is something really exciting. I mean, that's something unique, something No, new. no. Oh, so, so, sorry, everybody. Um, uh, There's a glitch we'll in the system. Get, uh, get I think it's a little oh. outside. It's, uh, <laughs> it was a little, I mean, it's that California weather. Yeah. What's yeah. happening? Yeah. yeah, it's a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> but... Let's catch everybody up on what's been happening so far in the tournament, because this is the finals that we're getting into today, but we did have action all day yesterday. Shout out to Rhyme Style and Syriax, who are hosting on their channels what was going on. Because I have the no tournament idea what format, that was. This, this is a pretty big event. There were a lot of uh, high-level duelists that were competing here, Billy. Yeah, definitely. It started with almost 400 players, and they cut down to a Boy, top 32. Boy, open up the dimensions. I want to see who's behind the live mask. Stream, as you mentioned. And going into the top eight, there's world's competitors from Master Duel that almost made it to those final <laughs> matchups point. There's definitely stacked with really good players. Yeah. It was fun to watch it. <laughs> and it was all put together by one shadow duelist who, again, we, we've been talking about for the last month, Nocturne. Put the together by Nocturne, the, the shadow duelist. It all started off with initial <laughs> social media posts. Then there were these clues that would come out here. Well, why so, he hacking then? Uh, as we're going to be taking a look at some What's of going the, on? Uh, the action that happened throughout the last month. Uh, it, the, the question on everybody's mind is who could be behind the mask. Now, I know a lot of people think that they know who it is, but nobody knows for certain. All we know is that this is the mask, and this is what everyone is competing for today. Yeah, definitely. This competing is for it UGF today? We've been talking about it. something really cool. Some of we don't really do stuff like this, and now we're having all these good to bring people from all around the world to compete to try and decipher who is behind that mask. And now we have two finalists. One of them will be able to reveal the celeb and win that mask. Exactly. It's a great prize to pick up. The mask, uh, it looks incredible from what we've seen so far. But more than the mask, who is Nocturne? Who is this duelist? <laughs> I want you to reveal yourself as quickly as possible, but unfortunately, I don't have He's got a Nintendo Switch. His lethal Nintendo Switch. Switch. Uh, lethal Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I gotta say, this has been one of the craziest events that we've had all year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, following along yes. all month, reading the clues, trying to guess who it was. We got to watch the tournament yesterday. It's really been exciting. The deadly uh, Nintendo Shadow Switch, Duel boy. And now we finally get to find out who is behind that amazing mask. I mean, in the prize yeah. of that mask. Oh, uh, it's just incredible. <laughs> but if there's anything that bends my cards, Billy, it is something bends your cards to their face at a duel and table. grinds his they duel were, They're not willing to, to let us know who they are. And, and to me, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure what to make of all of that. But th this is the bracket for the top oh, four. This, oh, this is a whole last tournament. Yesterday. <laughs> okay. Uh, so shout out to Get Money Ace and Victor Get Money Lee. Ace. We made it to the semifinals, but we're not able to get that final victory. Get yeah, Money Ace. Able to win over Get Money Ace and Red Tech no <laughs> Tenor. Oh. Sorry, everybody. Again, just please bear with us uh, right now. <laughs> it's a digital so issue. I think I did. I just hear the door lock. Check the uh, antenna. Are we trapped? And they locked the door. 
I, I certainly hope not as well, but we'll look into we that in a moment. We need these duelists to help we, us. We do need these duelists <laughs> to help us because the sooner we can discover who Nocturne is, I think the sooner we're going to be able to get out of here. Um, but Very true. Yeah, the, the, the whole event has been shrouded in mystery. It's been shrouded in disguise, <laughs> intrigue, and uh, at the end of the day, we will get our answers. Yes. You know, one more best of three because <laughs> these finalists will be moving on to see who gets to win the mask and reveal the um, person behind Nocturne. Yeah, I really yep. can't wait to see if it's going to be Fictinium or Red Tech. Fictinium. Go One of these duelists is going to walk away Red with the Tech. first place. Let's go. But we do have some clues to cover, so let's actually bring our attention to those. We have been revealing some of these throughout the last month, so okay. uh, this is everyone's last opportunity. I don't really think to I take the have seen any clues. So far I don't think I've seen a guesses. single clue. We're going to take our time to oh, go through okay. these and see uh, how many people once think that they are confident in who it is. Up first, clue number one, Nocturne. Once planned to teach the art of language before stepping onto a different stage. I've got nothing but the ultimate respect for anyone who thinks about getting into the teaching career and path. That means he must be Man. a master of something to be able to want to teach it to others. Hmm. Makes sense that they're a duelist if they can read. All right, I'm just... Uh, so that's already step number one. Let's take a look at clue number two. You know... Here. <laughs> uh, in their youth, Nocturne donned fighter's mitts as a different sort of duelist. Hmm, interesting. We do have some duelists that have myths. Battle and boxers? Battle and boxers? Maybe a battle and boxer duelist. Could be, could be. Are there any celebs that play battle and boxers? We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Clue number three. Let's take a look at the next one here. A reminder at home, if you're in chat right now, uh, spam who you think all of these apply to, because these are all correct clues. It has to be somebody that these all apply to. Nocturne possesses many fiendish familiars. Hmm. Fiendsmith player? Animals of some sort, maybe fiendish chain. You know, I'm just using these words. That's a that's an old school card. I guess is, by I have no yeah, idea what standards. they're talking about. <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, but I'm sure these the connections are going to be definitely four. very loose uh, connections here. Nocturne is cloaked in shadow and draped. And cloaked and draped. What are they like a like a fashion icon? Maybe maybe they. Hmm. They, they work for like a what are or you something? doing? Could be, could be melody. Boy, y'all got to get to it, man. In sync with each other, mm. draped in melody. Interesting. Nah. Let's take a yeah. look at the next hint, though. Next clue, number five. And that clue coming up here on our screen shortly. Oh, maybe it's not. Um, okay, what's going on? What? Uh oh. What the? No. <laughs> don't pull out. Don't get out the switch, here? Jamal. <laughs> don't take out the switch, Jamal. Oh man, I just can't believe Nocturne is actually Your here. Cheeks. I'm at a loss for words. Nocturne Your the Shadow Duelist has, I guess, joined the broadcast. Nocturne, was all that static that was happening? Was that you? <laughs> what is this? What are you doing? Just so ominous. Just I guess so. I guess it was. Um, Nocturne, if you can hear us right how, now. How, does, how is this dude, like, taking you, over the stream? Why are you doing all this? But his why audio do don't work? <laughs> The cheeks, the cheeks. I'm here for the clap the cheeks. Uh, I, I'm not sure if, uh, if we're able to hear that right now uh, on the stream, but I believe Nocturne is trying to communicate with bye us. Bye, bye. And it, the, the, the glitching is still happening. So Look Nocturne, at him checking the stream. Oh my goodness, Look at him saying his bandwidth is low. Uh, <laughs> He's like, oh, no, I, I'm I disconnected. How Nocturne embarrassing. To oh, wait. Yet. But what we've Reconnected. heard from, uh, at least is all that the a strap? and everything happening, is that Nocturne <laughs> oh, no, that's has not a brought strap. us here to see who is worthy of unmasking I have, I the person I don't know behind this, the come mask. On, man. So, yeah, this is the mastermind of the Shadow Duelist. <laughs> sitting behind the desk ominously If the glove doesn't fit, you must incredible. acquit. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Nocturne's actually here. I mean, now it makes sense why we're trapped in His here. His imaginary Police beard. Duelist needs to mm, save us. Indeed. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's going on right now. They, but they just told him Nocturne, to wing it. They said, we're turning on the camera. The Be cool. The person behind the mask has joined us on broadcast and i'm a little worried billy i think that door did lock knocked her not along are, are we not allowed to leave until we call <laughs> a winner today i see the zipper hanging out from no. the glove it's kind of ruining it well there we have it and now Nocturne, Tussles, come on. We, we have you as well is it also correct that you brought us here today to determine who is worthy of unmasking you yes i dropped you here to say who is worthy Okay. Yes. Uh, well, took me out of the mask. To it Billy, was vaping. We do still have a show. My mouth. Uh, my cheeks. Still fine. My we cheeks. have the rest of the show to get through. So 
Well, let's try our best here because we do still have to introduce uh, the, the finalists that will be uh, uh, playing against each other in that final. Um, Nocturne, uh, I do My have boy, one boy, what are for you. you. Uh, and that is... Why, what are you doing? Why did you want to determine who could unveil your mask? <laughs> Simply to appease me. Appeasement? Simply to appease. Oh, man. Who is going that to... That is a twisted mentality, Nocturne. They've got to have some fantastic duels to really go through here and win this mask. Yeah. <laughs> Locking us in a room, uh, putting this entire tournament together, and, and forcing people to compete just for the appeasement uh, of the, the duelist behind the mask. I must Shadow be Duels, appeased. Who does like Yu-Gi-Oh, so we'll have Appease to see me. if we can put on a show for him. Appease well, my pleasure. Well, I was talking about that final bracket. Duelist. We'll take another look at it here. And now we see the mask lit up. I'm it will be Victinia <laughs> versus Red Techno Tenor. Let's see what happens. 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 Let's see I must be a beast. Nine rounds of Swiss <laughs> yesterday. Top 32 where it becomes single elimination. They had to win at least six, like 11 rounds minimum to make it to <laughs> including the single edge portion after the top 32. And now they're here all the way in the finals. That's basically uh, a Oh, win. I am very I entertained. Am I am entertained. One day full of <laughs> It was not an easy feat. These people didn't just I am entertained. They didn't win a lottery and find their have way have my finals. attention. This was based on their dual skills and I have been a piece. The <laughs> yeah, but this time around, you know, what they're bringing home will be a beautiful mask as well as the pride of being the one to unmask the person who has been uh, a, a menace to the community for the last month. There. Everyone's trying to figure out who this shadow duelist oh, is, why we were all brought here, clearly for the appeasement of Nocturne themselves, um, but also oh. walking that mask is going to be a beautiful prize. Definitely. It's something that's going to be well, Thank you, one computer. of a kind. You have been a beast. Get, and now it looks like we're ready to jump into it. It's game number one of our final Man, of the Shadow you Duelist. Man, you sure, sure couldn't have picked like the uh, more non-threatening field. The Shadow uh, Duelists field. themselves join us. Nocturne, will you be casting the game the alongside cheeks. us? The cheeks. Not the cheeks. I will be there. Let the games begin. Indeed, let them begin. It's time let the right, let the replay begin. <laughs> that is beautiful. First of all, uh, yet yeah, Nocturne, can we get your thoughts oh, here? Oh my God! You brought them here for your appeasement. Which side of the board are you favoring right this now? This music is not matching the tense uh, tone of the duel. <laughs> Well, I think that you might have actually got spot on right there. Uh, I think that we'll figure out what was going on with the connection um, in the game number one. Uh, so uh, that can happen. Could be a myriad of reasons. We'll hear from the tournament officials shortly, and they'll keep everybody at home updated. But for now, at least, um, I, we did see the, the prettier side of the board, I believe, and actually agreed with. <laughs> wasn't able to take that quick one. Um, I mean, yeah, Marshmallow, I mean, that's one of my favorite things about Master Duel. Is cause, yeah, you're playing the same uh, game Yu-Gi-Oh that you know on a digital platform. Platform. You can access it anywhere, your phone, iPad, all the consoles, Steam. You can play Yu-Gi-Oh! anywhere at all times. But the mates, that's oh, something new and unique. God. You have uh, your favorite characters right there alongside of you. Man, y'all got, the got, like like got me laughing. Y'all got that me laughing. Y'all got that. makes you want to win the next game because I always feel so bad letting my mate down. Yeah. I use the Scareclaw <laughs> Lightheart mate, and he just looks so disappointed in me when I lose. So <laughs> yeah. Definitely having the mates is one of my favorite parts. So I'm going to go with the Marshmallow <laughs> mate if I had to pick a side right off just based upon. Not a dark magician fan? That's no. what was on the other side, right? No, Marshmallow all the way. Oh, my I God. Mean, uh, I used to uh, use both of that is Indeed. one of the cool things of Mash Duel compared to. PCG I I had no course, idea this was gonna be a whole cool, thing. Uh, I thought this was gonna be like a quick little itself, three which minute uh, video. I have no idea how long this even well, is. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm locked in, in, man. I'm locked yeah, in with right you. Now you can log so I hope you enjoy this because I know you didn't watch it live, man. So. I won't tell you my pick. I'm going to keep that secret, but uh, I'm definitely going to unbiased. Unbiased. Spodcaster. But I'm going to go with. I'll give you a hint that I'm going with a team. I'm, I'm going with a team that um, has been there before. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's, not, there's a couple of teams that played at last year's Master Duel World Championship. A couple coming back. That's what I'm looking at, but there's definitely some strong contenders on all of the teams. Yeah, well, Worlds yeah. is coming up shortly, but uh, update for everybody. It was They've activated a Yap No Jutsu. From one of the so all right, here we go. A game loss. We are all right. into <laughs> duel number one. And I like how you. I like how you got into the channels. 
but we should be through them shortly. So bear with us, everybody. Uh, Terminal organizers are working Sorry, with Nocturne, us. Sorry, Nocturne, please don't yes. keep us in the terminal. Our, our most humble apologies. <laughs> Nocturne, can you confirm? Uh, did you break our satellite uh, in order to hack into the stream? Well, we'll, we'll uh, address this room. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta send our engineers up there and make sure that they Yes, Nocturne! The, the cheeks! <laughs> yes! Okay, now, okay, now I'm down with Nocturne. Right, well, this, okay, Nocturne, Nocturne well, okay. I'm uh, okay, I'm okay. Now I'm a fan. At, at first, I was a roasting. Now I'm a fan. This is pretty damn funny. This is pretty, this is entertaining. I'm enjoying Nocturne right now. But what can you tell me anything at all about you know <laughs> why you want to be the masked duelist right now what made you want to host this tournament other than appeasing you i know you said that but <laughs> give me something it else all started did, did the day i the was born steven together anything not i was born in the darkness bathed in the darkness okay boy you feel the game it's just about the love of the game, I Man, suppose. Boy, I mean, if you don't, if you, know, you don't I, give us I, a I dark like anime again, backstory, at least mask, just say you were face, you was molded by the darkness or something. Instead of throwing yeah, up I'm your hands, going, going the cheeks, the I cheeks. I'm so happy that you joined us. You have this mask, and you got to bring players. Is it Donald Trump at this point? He's going. I like nothing more than a good competition. I've been going to Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments pretty much my life. Who else does this? You're doing this exciting thing. Thank you, Nocturne. You are our humble and gracious. <laughs> Thank you so much. What? Billy well, Break, what are you since, doing? Uh, we are waiting for the duelist to get back. Billy Break should be one. defeating him. Billy Break should not be bowing to a random shadow duelist who hasn't even showed you, you if dueling. his deck is even, you know, doesn't have four Regekis in it for all you know. They're going to do something classic. It's going to be Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, blue eyes, white it's dragon. A classic. I mean, few of faces. Man, could you at least have it stuck on the theme? Pick the any dark monster. Sure. True. Shurig the ominous omen. Is what we you could have said the, the ominous omen. Shurig. With us, everybody. We are allowing the duelist time to. Oh, okay. So the, okay. The so he turned off his on. microwave. Um, I, I, he left McDonald's really sort of and he went back to his home to connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, let's go. Nocturne. I want to ask you. Nocturne. Turn off your microwave. For the world championship of you. Turn off that microwave, Nocturne. I am indeed extremely excited for this event. I was molded in the event, bathed in it. Yeah. As well. it Set up so for my it appeasement. Is, is yes. In, in Appease me in my gamer chair. Appease me. Appease me. That's... The most classic Nocturne answer you could ask for. I mean, clearly, the person behind the mask... He's trying to mew. So How did this before. man try to mew I mean, behind the mask? You know what's funny? How did I recognize dragon? he mewed? He was like... His tournament's the most important? That's I'm a good guess. That is a good guess. Nocturne, is your favorite Wait, anime character? A... Does it happen to be Kaiba? <laughs> It may be Kaiba. It may <laughs> it be, be Kaiba. It may be. That would check out. That does all add up. All right, everybody. I'm hearing that we're going to attempt. They would have been better off having the person who was quote unquote wearing the mask get underway. It is a uh, sit behind a microphone. Here. And, I and do then, ah, they got the duel going to at least. They got there the duel. Go. This is bull, right, honestly. Like, so that means that this guy, that means that the guy, that the opponent got two mulligans. That's not. Nah. That's bull. That's bull. That means that, that old oh boy. That is a long chain link to kick things off here in Wait, no, it was the, the replay. Duel, What's going on? It's so sick. If it was a replay, to, you one more how come they couldn't play the damn? We're into game number one. Oh, but it's a live. It's not a replay. It's when you're uh, spectating a duel. They're spectating the duel. Okay, okay. But if they're, you, they're spectating the duel, 
So it just disconnected just every time they tried to press play, I guess. That's just that's silly. I don't know. So I guess they just decided to play this. Um, whatever. That's just kind of funny. Gamma, it's pretty good because you are stopping from resolving, but it's not once per turn. You're only negating that effect. So they're still going to be able to use Gamma later on. Man. So that's what Fictinium is doing here. Does he stop this Magnum? Real talk. Magnum does represent a No offense to Billy and Steven here, but Nocturne should be commentating this. Nocturne should be talking about how these cards have no effect on his power, blah, blah, blah. You know, how also old boy was a fool for playing Ash. Although it may have stopped the one effect, it can still be utilized. And then, you know, even if it was a good move or not, you know, Nocturne could just be yapping, talking shit. But now it just looks like Nocturne is just confused, doesn't even know what's going on. Because if it turns out to be someone who's not an actual duelist and it's just some guy feels like um then he really doesn't know what's going on it's just like a human watching a dragon ball fight you know what i'm saying so so this better turn out to be the best duelist of all time just so happens to be behind the mask who understands everything but if it's some just random guy if it's like jake paul you know jake paul doesn't know what's going on you know what i'm saying Gamma, you know Kai Sinet doesn't know what's going on. You know what I'm incredible. saying? I mean, this is turn one. The guy that front that ran the Olympics thing, maybe he knows. Yeah, you know, he might know. You know, our first duelist here. I you know, become world champion, the, uh, game bold game, enough to pull was, the cards out. Um, he better know something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Tenor, as so the, I get that. Uh, listed name on the bracket. But this is um. See where they go from here. Funny. One other card in hand. They could perform a synchro summon. Man. Ah. Okay. Now, already off the bat here, Nocturne, <laughs> are you favoring either of these duelists on the screen? Do the, do the cheeks. Do the cheeks. Do this. Do this, Nocturne. Nocturne, do this. Do this. What okay, did you say? Has the cooler field. Yeah. Opened up with a lot of interaction there. I could see Messi, it. Messi, who are you favoring? He could have been like, he's like, the, although uh, so and so has the uh, Centurion play Centidium set up and he looks to do this and that, I favor Centurion. Why? Because. I don't know. Back, I'm connected to the voltage awesome to you of the gamma. Game. Some bullshit. Yeah, like, you know, anything. Anything, Nocturne. Not, the gamma. You don't want to I the like the other one. Why? Because the other one. Why? Why, Nocturne? Why the other one? For it appeases me. At this point, I'm more so villainous he, uh, than Nocturne. Come Carter. on. He wants or just place it to the spell and trap card zone. Yep. This Baron player is getting cooked. And that is going to get Phalanx to target a face up monster on the field to banish it and then during the standby phase of the next turn, return it. All so, right. So, an interaction so with the sick Baron. Sick to the up. Boy. Nocturne, I think you're right. Fictinium's in a very good position here. And it's even better with the Cosmic Cyclone. It's a good way to start. We're going to have to see if Absolutely Betty uses the Baron cooked. here to stop the Cosmic. Absolutely cut. Nope, Ooh. just let the game go. Ah, <laughs> now, Nocturne, there's okay, no way that you maybe Nocturne, I mean, maybe Nocturne at least knows a little bit. Chance, Nocturne might know a little bit. He saw that car, he laughed just like I did. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, okay, he can't hacker, say. All I right. doubt he could hack into right. Master Duel itself. So we uh, do the wanted in the draw you phase. Now we're in the main phase duel, with huh? the chicken, chicken game. game. So we do see Fictinium at least playing the uh, Diabell Star <laughs> package here. Let's chicken see game. If there's other cards alongside of it. A second chicken, chicken game. game. Yeah, chicken game pretty neat huh. in the Snake Eye strategy. Ah, you paid you actors, like I see. Where you're thinning your deck out, <laughs> getting access to those Snake Eye monsters <laughs> with all the limitations like Snake Eye has. Yeah. Being at one, but it also leaves you with a face of card in the yes. field that you can send with Diabell Star the Black Witch or Snake Eye Ash. Scam. It's scam point. time. It's a really cool tech. It's here scam time. Oh, yeah, it's scam World. time. Diabell Star the Black Witch is going to let Fictinium grab an, a sinful spoil from the deck. And, and that's that where the Baron is going to come into play and negate that. So that is the All right, last so normal, button click so normal that Red Techno like, Tenor that, will have. That's their last button that click. Nocturne, I gotta ask, do you click think your last pathetic button so I can end this match. This well, never mind. I don't even have to ask. That's a forfeit because there was no other play. That bonfire basically signaled the end of the game.
the bonfire. Having Come on! Still, that boy said! <laughs> using your special summons, the longer you can hold on to that normal summon, the better of a position the to put you in later on in that game. <laughs> the bonfire would be able to grab Snake Eye Ash and combo off from there. I mean, there's many different ways you can end up getting to 8,000, whether it be access, Man, y'all both to have an event. You both at least let like my man play it out. Y'all could have did some dramatic flair or anything. That's just crazy. That's going to be able to do over 8,000. Billy, 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 hold up. You said all that to the average dude Duel that just showed one, up here? It, he don't know 10, what you talking Tecmo about. Performance. To rather, the dude sorry, that um, identified uh, Titanium. when Titanium's he said the Blue Eyes was his favorite card, one, he don't know what you, you said. Favorite. World Dragon Z Lantis, he don't know what you talking about. Solid eight. Now That's Billy's I, doing it. Now Billy's doing, doing it. Tough to impress both of you, <laughs> as I felt that the deck building skills were what impressed me the most. The chicken games coming in here, something that uh, is very creative for duelists to use in mass duel. No, there are a lot of those. No, it's um, hyper geometric. Limited list hits he, nah. two things like the snake eyes. No, it's hyper geometric. Yeah, Drawing is drawing. <laughs> the ticket searching game was searching. really, really cool to see. I mean, yeah, it it's has multiple geometric. purposes. And, yeah, it's mathematics, you can probabilities. The snake eye, Ash the snake eye player yeah. definitely really understood that, that as he utilized hand traps those interactions going second, making the and search cards to, to get to his key cards. Check out my videos uh, or hypergeometric distribution are side decking if you want to learn more. Side decking is a little bit different for this tournament. Nocturne, maybe you can learn something from my videos. You have to play game one with the deck that you registered with. Although, I seriously doubt the Nocturne can handle the powers of my gladiator face. Or you can see that's how you do like it, Nocturne. Going slash Come on, going first cards goofy eye mask. You're already doing. Yeah. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about it. Maybe goofy eye uh, gamer uh, chair. Set your eye on there in game number one. Red Techno Tinner is going to switch to a completely different strategy, or he might just think he got a little unlucky there with all those interactions. Mm. Uh, <laughs> from uh, oh no, Fictinium was the top one. Yes, Fetty yes, was the bottom one. Yes. But either way, he could switch from Centurion on to a different strategy. But you, you oh, he can switch his deck. Oh, he can switch there. his whole deck. Oh, if you're going first okay. versus second, it can really change the type of deck, the type of strategy that you want to bring into the Whoa, duel. Whoa, so look at Steven. Yes. That's exactly what, what YT Dan preaches. If you know going first or second and you choose to go second, going then you're going to have the opportunity see, to win you know that you're gonna be going second. more Maybe times than your opponents do on average. 75% of people choose to go first on Master Duel. If you choose to go second, that means you get a 75% percent chance at victory come on now incredible yeah, I mean, the, the biggest, the, the determining factor there was, yeah, Cypher Nocturne, here, what do you gamma. think about yeah, that? It's not only affect negate, it destroys the card, and even though he was forced <laughs> to use that Ash Blossom Almost. on it, being able to have the hand to use on the I'm next I'm going to get him. Watch, he's going to do it much. again. Yep, it the was, cheeks, in fact, for game cheeks. number one, but we are ready now for a game number two. Fictinium is up 1-0 okay, in we go. the best of three series. Summon. If they can win well. one more duel, they can unmask Nocturne. <laughs> and what would you know again? Is this a replay of the first duel? This is exactly Scammed. how it started. It is almost card for card. Infinite impermanence instead of a effect roller, but literally the same interaction. Primera this is the power of going second. See, that's how you go what second, boys. No, the odds, the odds are <laughs> clearly in his favor. <laughs> he knew he's going second, so he gets the run cards like Gamma. He can afford to bury his Garnets. He can also run other hand this traps like Impermanence and Effect Veiler that are also live, allowing him to hold Ash for his turn going oh, no. second or to utilize Ash no against his opponent. So guess what? Going second's so always the best, especially if you know it. Goofy eye. Uh, mask, tell me, tell us about it. Question of the day. Boy, the it's chicken another game. chicken game. Goofy this is eye. incredible. Look at that. Is Boy, incredible. you ain't on the edge of your seat. Sit down. You already know what he's going to do. Gonna pay a thousand to draw a card. Chicken game. Chicken game. Cosmic Cyclone. Dia Bell Star. Games out here. We were not playing the real Normal game. Normal Summon Snake Eye Ash. Not Surrender. Even, not even the and game. that's Chicken the event. You may have won my at my mask yeah. without Dude, executing a one-card combo. Like you said, the Dia Bell Star, the Black Witch, can send that as 
take it. The material to summon herself. <laughs> yeah, and using it for like snake eye ass. Also, look at him. Hey, nice. Look at him well, trying to act like he has to think about what he's got to do. Ah, he's trying to. He's trying to. He's hard to get a face up card for that. He was faking. He was faking like it was more for him to do. It wasn't nothing for him to do. That boy knew what he was doing. No, there was not. So we're going straight into no. They're scamming. Which makes me think there's a potential. They're scamming. That They're like, hey, 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 slow it down. Hey, yeah, slow it down. At least try to play around well. like you don't I got game. Uh, all right? That's going to be talking to this guy. <laughs> Fictinium, come on. I know you're playing Snake Eye, but slow it down. Jeez. I mean, at least let him breathe one breath, then kill him. There it is. You called it. Snake Eye Ash is coming down from the hand. Hey, Normal don't surrender. Is there a <laughs> don't response? surrender. No. Don't surrender. There was a don't tunnel, do it. Though. <laughs> Something is activatable. Maybe we guess it's the... Yeah, he can the always thing. activate the surrender so, button. Yeah, which, always which activate the surrender button. Goofy. Goofy eyed duelist. How do you how do you have Max C? He has the from and he gamma, so he has to wait for him to put a monster on the field. Right. So we won't be able to oh, use the gamma. Right, on the okay, point. okay. Sure. Sure. It's, it's sure. Up to do, even if sure. you don't know your opponent has gamma, but just sure. Like, but wait, sure you no. Yeah. That doesn't make eyes. sense. No, that doesn't make sense. But because when he is coming no. up next. No, no mm, um, okay, yeah, I guess so. I guess okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. And we're straight into battle phase. So it looks like the duel will not end on this turn. Fictinium does not want to play into that max. He would rather just pass and leave the opponent with very few cards, very few options. Yeah, this is going to be tough here, but Sveti's in a better shape than last game. All right. What are we going to link up into here? It's no. Boy, you, <laughs> well, you get the turn that distortion down. I can't understand what the hell you saying. Yeah, rah, 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 rah. What are you talking about? Yeah, the solid here with the divine temple of snake eye. My man out here monster. like, here it comes. My attack. Main, main monster zone. 800. Like SP little knight. Yeah, before the interaction. <laughs> with one face down card, could be infinite permanence. So Seti has a mountain to climb here this turn, but not out of it by any means. That Maxi really saved Seti really this did. game. Nah. Yeah. Let them survive for much nah. longer. As the Bistial Lupin nah. has been activated. Abs, ab we had a Bistial monster <laughs> from our deck to our no. hand. Now I imagine. No. Oh, it's Y'all should have just. Y'all should have just. Y'all should have just. Nah. Y'all yeah, should have just scripted this whole thing out, out man. Y'all shouldn't have left it up to. Y'all shouldn't have left it up to probability. Y'all should have scripted this. Yeah, I think that is probably Y'all could have scripted an amazing do. duel. Y'all could have scripted summon. the shadow guy being <laughs> amazing commentary. You scripted none of it. <laughs> Nocturne is not impressed by this, then, I guess. <laughs> Neither am Fictinium I. Fictinium clearly getting the approval of the shadow duelist now. Fictinium, I hear these goofy uh, snake eye plays. I already know. I already know what the comments are going to say. Is, All the snake eye go duelists are going to roast you in the comments. I'm this sure. Position. All the snake eye duelists are going to roast you. I know they are. They would. I know they're going to say stuff like, "If that was me up there, my snake eye deck would have." Yeah, no juice. That would be able if that to was me the over there, you know, the loud, that the <laughs> I can already hear right it now. now. So I can see the merit I can hear the clickety clack. He still has a normal summon. Of computers. Can do a lot with one this thing card, is going on for 30 minutes. How long is this, man? Card, I signed up for this. I don't even know how long this is going to yes. be. <laughs> and important to note that if uh, Fictidium does not have a monster on the field at any point here, that Gamma is live in hand yet again. <laughs> that is true. So but. I imagine the Fictinium will have a lot of monsters as that Flamberge effect is going off. <laughs> yep, Flamberge is going to be able to bring back two level one fires when it's in the graveyard. SP Little Knight is going to try and banish the Lubellion, oh. but called by the grave on the Flamberge, actually huge here. 
This cuts off the monster from coming call back. It cuts off Flamebridge coming back from a princess for follow up on the following turn. So as long as Fetty has something to do with those last, I mean, two okay, cards in the hand, yeah. Consider, not okay, not I if the beast deals I open with a starter monster, we saw the level six and the fourteen, and I tried to play, and then my opponent activated Cyframe Gear Gamma, and then I tried to use Ash, and then they activated. Emperor. No, I wouldn't have done that. If my we if start, I tried to summon play. my starter, my opponent activates Cyframe Gear Gamma. A reason for the mask, and know, I have Ash to, to and Maxi in my hand. To I'm gonna let the Gamma go through, stop my starter, <laughs> and end my turn. Why did he? Yeah, that's Bonfire why this doesn't, doesn't look Snake good to me. This is this is weird. Pyro, like, what's going yeah. on in this duel? Which happens to also be Centurion Tradeo. Okay. This is a whack duel. <laughs> so you can place it along dude. with a Centurion monster. Boy, put the captions up. I can't hear nothing you saying. Boy, boy, I can't escape the shadows of your voice. I can't hear nothing. I can't hear nothing you're saying. I can't see your lips. And you over here talking about the shadows. Boy, if you don't get out of that game, and are you wearing pants? Are you wearing pants in that gamer chair? I've got pants. I've got pants. I've got pants. Are you wearing pants, Lord of Darkness? Centurion Gargoyle. It seems that he in. cannot hear me. And there we go. It seems Spirit that his voice has been now, negated. Now, what can do in main phase two? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> End phase. And the face down card is a This whole match is faulty. This is a goofy That's duel. Gonna grab Diabelle's Who, the how are glitch. you at turn four? Sveti, With no six cards, cards no from the not yard. winning this against your opponent, not like winning this duel. If this duel doesn't end right here, this is, I mean, come on, man. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to How can you even commentate this? All right. The boxer has the hungry, starving man in the corner. The hungry, starving man has no energy left, has no fight left in him. The boxer lining him up. As he's done many <laughs> champions before, so far, so over far, his win record, a hundred victories, zero losses, the starving the man beginning to faint, the boxer with all of his power, bam! Him. The hungry man has died. As Oak has hit the field, which will bring out the Ash, and Ash effect will then presumably search for a... Konami, Arthur. what is this? Whoever's under that mask okay. better be worth it. Star, the Black Witch. Takes off the mask. All the it was Taylor Swift all along. From the field spell. Is try and set I wouldn't be like, you know, happy spell? about that, I mean, but I would at least here. be entertained. I would be joyously entertained. Whoever's under that mask already. had better joyously entertain me. Because this duel, this duel is not a sacrifice. This is not a sacrifice. Oh, can no. actually go to the graveyard to summon Snake Eyes Flamebridge Dragon from the deck. Now it looks guys like are, Continuum is going to use I mean, right now, you guys are cooking yourselves. Like, absolutely cooked. I mean, it looks nice, but you guys are cooking yourselves. Like, I mean, what, doing what a bit even of a is this? Right? <laughs> a 2-0, is this what you predicted? Did you really think it would be over this fast? Goofy ass Snake Eye dude. Yeah, get out of here. Silly. <laughs> absolutely silly. Like, well, why did you like, turn was correct? We have our victor, <laughs> Fictinium. This a, game uh, is not best for two O's. Victory. This and game should, these duels, duels should be shrouded in mystery, one-off coin flip duels. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna do this, it should be more random and sporadic or scripted. It can't be a two out of three duel, Centurion versus Snake Eye, and this this is gonna be blowout master duel every time. One of the best cards you can start with going second, but you know taking nothing away from Fictinium. It was incredible. An incredible day yesterday. Yep. Had to play through nine rounds of Swiss. Top 32 and beyond that. To None of that finals. matters at these finals. And None of that matters at these finals you, because Fictinium me as a viewer a showing up here at the end, I didn't see nine well rounds of Swiss. I saw two play. blowouts. I will give him a turn out of turn for the last bottle. That's as many as you can give. That's a high score. <laughs> That's more like it, Nocturne. All right, maybe I had you figured out wrong uh, throughout the day. Uh, 
maybe apologies for some of that hostility because that's <laughs> definitely the rating I would give Victinium there at the end. Uh, again, going for that victory lap, as I like to call it. I'm sure he had an amazing run. Already in the books. But uh, with that said, but that for the people just tuning in casually who will get the to this stream that just happened to start as soon as I sat down at my computer. Which means that uh, <laughs> we're going to very quickly and very soon here learn the identity of Nocturne. Nocturne, are you nervous at all? Are you worried about this? You're blowing it. I do not the, the jinx. The jinx. <laughs> Does not experience nerves. <laughs> I like that a lot. You're blowing you know, it. I can You're tell absolutely you, blowing it. This could have been so this much is the cooler. Moment I've been waiting for to find out who is This could have been so much cooler. This could have been so much cooler. You're absolutely blowing it. You're blowing it. We are actually going to take a look at the final clue so that everybody at home can guess along one last time to see if they know who the masked <laughs> shadow duelist is before we actually see Nocturne's face proper. Because are you, you trying have, believe, to do three this? Three more clues. Or are you to going, give out. you know, now, what are you uh, doing? These ones might be a little more uh, on, on the nose. On the, the nose. Past ones, All so right, everybody let's be see. ready in chat along with us. Let's take a look at one of the last remaining clues. <laughs> Up here, clue number 11. Nocturne's melodies have topped charts across the Atlantic. Nocturne said they don't have any nerves. I mean, clearly, if, if this is the type of accolade that they've accomplished. Yeah, I mean, topping the charts is, no matter what chart it is, <laughs> no Please give another clue. Means. And the I said Taylor Swift. I was damn near close. Oh, no. I said yeah, Taylor Swift. It's some sort of male artist. Those, but I do know okay. Definitely an ocean. What means, genre of you're, music you're right, did you select? Wide. That's a big and, hint right and there. And who did you choose? Probably not from the Los Angeles. It would be hilarious if it was Kendrick Lamar. That would be uh, funny. But we'll see. <laughs> but we I doubt that. Clues to get through but that, that would be so funny. Let's take a look. <laughs> and I would kind of appreciate that. That would be pretty up. funny. Clue number 12. From dusk till dawn, Nocturne fills the air with stardust and pillow talk. What does that mean? It better not be no, somebody I mean, like Neil deGrasse Tyson. But well, no, it said, it said, no, it said yeah. winning on the charts. Because he's, because, you know, Star, uh, Star, Star, Star Talk that podcast. That That's our Neil deGrasse yeah, Tyson. But that, I have no idea what dude. I, I don't know. Stardust and pillow talk. I'm trying to, you, I'm trying to guess this, but this just sounds ridiculous to me. Usually you sleep at night under the stars. How does that tell us? Nocturne at night. Nocturne. Pillows. Ooh. together. No. <laughs> a fan of napping. I'm also a fan of naps. Under no. the sky. <laughs> no. Okay. Celebrities that fit that one. Let's Everybody look, fits under the open sky that clue. lives on the earth. In chat, congratulations. If not, this is your last chance to guess it. Clue number 13. North, south, east, west. Nocturne will only choose one. Well, if it's a it globe, better not be Kanye. Yeah, it it would be funny if it was Kanye. <laughs> right yeah, I well, doubt yeah. it, though. I don't know who it is. All the, all the, all the yeah, names that come to my mind, I'm one. like, it can't, sure. be, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be. But who I knows? It would be funny as hell if it was Kanye. I would cry laughing if it was Kanye. I'd burst into tears. We've had a month of anticipation, a month of guessing, a long behind the mask. Let's bring Nocturne back on with us here <laughs> Nocturne we have our victor Fictinium is the one that earned the right to unveil your mask and win that mask from you so without further ado let's see who's the duelist behind the mask <laughs> I'm so nervous I don't know who it could be Ooh. No, what? Wait, no hey. way no it is multi-platinum selling record artist Zane I Zane Malik, I can't How's believe. Who? Oh, I, it is such an honor. Thank you, thank you so much for being here and putting on this awesome tournament. Yeah, first of all, apologies for all the the mask comments I was making. I wasn't aware, I guess, of who I was speaking to. You're good. You're good. It was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was, <laughs> it was good banter. I really liked it. Thank you. Okay. Well, welcome to the stream, Zane. Oh. I wasn't aware that you were a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a big, big Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Uh, I've been into Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time since I was a small kid. So okay. it's an honor to be here to do this. Um, but, well, that explains and, uh, why he knew what the Bellstar Black Witch was. That explains. So, 
Um, okay, yeah, well, fuck it, dude. Yeah, I'm just absolutely blown away. I'm a little starstruck. I was close. I was that, close you know, with the uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift thing, that, though. You know, I was close to the Taylor Swift the thing. World, I knew they would grab a music artist. Here for this tournament and just, yeah, just I, I just so, am unfamiliar so well, with Zayn's music, but I'm sure he's probably like a big deal. Was it bringing the community together, or was it just getting aware of such a cool winning artist? Mess around with all of us here in the community. But then again, uh, yeah, I think it's a, um, a bit. Of I don't get. You know, sure I don't get what nice the to get, um, everybody together. Obviously, what was going on with it? This, but also, uh, I'm a big fan of dressing up. I uh, love Halloween. I love any you know uh, costume I can ever get into and play a character. So it was uh, it was a fun experience and uh, one I didn't want to miss out on. Well, yeah. we're happy that you are here. Happy to have you. Speaking of costumes, you got that beautiful mask in Fictinium. And he's got to give it away, which kind of sucks. You know, if I was, if I was I him, I would want to keep the mask. Fictinium something. Uh, you got to sign oh, that mask, Zane. Oh, it's got a little. Yeah, we do. So I'm going to put it here. Oh. I'm going to sign it on the inside. Okay. That's pretty so cool. ruin the outside of it. Oh, here we go. That's pretty cool. Nice. You can see. This is a big moment. That, that mask... Oh, what a beauty. Oh, it was so cool. Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, it even looks go. cool on the inside. You see it? I wonder what's in that binder over there. Pull it, pull, move it up to the camera a little it's bit. Really let's, cool. let's get a good look at it. <laughs> there we oh, go. On yeah. the inside yeah. of the mask Designed is pretty dope. shadow duelist yes. mask That's kind of dope how, they, how it's made. Just incredible. I like your nice. gloves. <laughs> the wearing those gloves there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, did, I could make it too obvious, I guess, by showing off the hands here. Yeah. Uh, well, Zade, it was <laughs> yeah, awesome having tattoos. you on the show, but we were sense. teasing throughout the entire month who could be the duelist behind the mask. I'm sure some people were able to guess it correctly, probably were spamming in chat uh, <laughs> who it was behind there the whole time. But we had a couple of clues that we were giving out hmm. as hints to who you were. Uh, so I, I want to. I have. Uh, well, I don't know who he is. So I don't later, know how those clues. Let's get to know you as a duelist a little bit. Tell, talk to me about your origin story. Yep. How did you first get into Yu-Gi-Oh? This is what I'm interested in. Yeah, yeah. this is a good story, uh, or it should be. Everybody has ago, good stories I like think, this. Um, I properly started playing the game um, on uh, Game Boy Advance. Hey, I know, I know what you're talking I about on that. Collected the cards, <laughs> um, but I was really young, so I still didn't really understand how a lot of it worked. Um, I think I was probably about six, seven when I got into it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it took me a while to properly understand the game, but once it like uh, solidified, I think I was playing on uh, Game Boy Advance SP quite a lot. Um, the original game that came out on there, I think I remember. Years yeah, that's and years ago. A long there's time a lot, ago. There's a lot of good games that were on those on the DS and the regular Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Yeah. So it's really awesome that you're you no, play good. those. I love them as well. He would have been more really legendary if he said, Yeah, yeah I, mean, I started out on False Bound Kingdom. I, I, maybe uh, it's not <laughs> you remember too much, but do you remember when you were a kid, when you were like six, seven, what your favorite started card out was on False Bound Kingdom back in the day? Um, my favorite card, um, I know it sounds super cliche, but obviously everyone loves Dark Magician. I love oh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I also love the Exodia card. Um, oh, yeah. At the, uh, yeah, where you get all the different parts. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember what the name was, like where you have to put it together. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember his name now off the top of my head. So, Exodia, yeah. Exodia, yeah, Exodia yeah. the Forbidden yeah. One with the Exodia, left yeah. arm, right oh, arm, left leg, right leg. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it was like a whole thing trying to get every card and get it out of the deck and put it together. But once you did it, you were pretty much unstoppable. No one could fight that card. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Zodia is also one of my favorites. We actually have new cards that came out recently in the Infinite Forbidden, one of our last core boosters. Well, actually, it was new some. Exodia cards. Yeah, we're going to have to make yeah. sure you get your <laughs> hands on those as well. Yeah, for sure. I'd love to. <laughs> Uh, uh, do you have any favorite uh, parts? Because, I mean, Exodia was clearly, like, the episode one of the anime, like, a big deal in the show. We saw Dark Magician, mm -hmm. Blue Eyes, all that very early on. Do you have any favorite parts or memorable storylines from the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime? Because I feel like a lot of people connect, not just to the cards, but to, like, the show itself, too. Yeah, I, I love uh, a, a lot of different parts of the Damn. show. Um, I'm doing the TCG player um, thing. The most memorable <laughs> like, battle for me was the uh, Kaiba battle. Um, oh, I, man. That always just stuck out to me. I've always loved that. I'm so surprised. Uh, rivalry that you I'm not Kaiba. surprised like I Which thought one, I would the be. The first one or the one where he's uh, honestly a little uh, disappointed? Not necessarily. No knock to who this person is and what's going on with him and all that, but it's 
kind of like sure. what I don't get. What was I, the I'm point big, of uh, all of this build up and all of this yapping and all? What was the point of all of this? What was the point of the Nocturne thing and the digital thing? Like I guess it was for fun, but it would have been for more fun if like Zane dueled, you know, if Nocturne dueled, if the person in the mask was playing Snake Eye and no one else could or something like anything anything you know i feel like i feel like any type of mix up to set the stakes Um, you could have you what they really could have did was tested out the new ban list format in this tournament I mean, and I ran awesome. a we tournament a and Yugi say with, like, that the, the new ban list was set like by the Nocturne. The that, and the then group, like, the winner of the tournament, yeah, because the guy won with Snake Eye Ash, win, like, yeah. he yeah. decides you know, to add one card, more right? card to the list and ban Snake Eye Ash completely. Yeah. And then that yeah. would have been amazing. Yeah. Insane. Right? Yeah. But now we're doing this. Hacks, nah. Now nah, I got more time to think about it. Right? Now I'm more disappointed, <laughs> right? 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 disappointed than anything. <laughs> because <laughs> even <laughs> opening up, exactly. talking about exactly. how well, the ban list is coming in a couple of days is kind of random because this whole stream has nothing to do with the ban list. And now you got me thinking about it. What is this, 50 minutes in? Exactly 50 minutes in. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Like I've dabbled a bit, played myself. Um, you know, uh, when the game came out, I, I got into it quite a bit, and uh, I got to a certain level, and then there was just like some people it's that play this game that are just I don't even know. And Fictinium is obviously one of them people. The chain links with the cards were were really impressive. Um, I don't even think the other guy got to make any moves. He kind of just destroyed him, <laughs> did his thing. So. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to play. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah, Fictinium did have an answer. Yo, every you're the Shadow Duelist. You're supposed to say you crush him and, with your yeah, dark power. Like do like maybe, yeah. Come on. <laughs> well, uh, you mentioned that you you've dabbled a little bit of Master Duel yourself. Uh, first off, what platform did you play on? Mm-hmm. Or are you a PC <laughs> the gamer? The Nintendo, or you on your phone? the Nintendo Switch, and he is in rookie. IPod. Okay. Where's your switch? Uh, yeah, because I like the interface. I like no, the way. No, the no where's that switch? Like where's that stuff. switch? Um, <laughs> so I started playing on there, and then I started playing on Steam afterwards. Uh, but I've got it on pretty much everything. I've got it on Xbox. Say, say switch. Say switch. Okay. Not to stunt or anything. Say but. switch. <laughs> no, <laughs> you didn't even I mean, say you switch. You a Konami executive in the background was like, "Kidney never would have dreamed of something like Master Duel existing." Where not only can I play Yu-Gi-Oh anywhere I want. All the time, I can play against anyone worldwide. And a jump Nintendo into, like, a executive match and challenge someone Boom. 24 hours a day. It's literally a dream come true with Master Duel sure. just being a thing. Yeah, it is definitely the, the progression of it from when we were children. Oh is no, sure. what's the game happening? Has come a long way, and the ways no. to play the game have come a long way. But a lot of people's favorite way to engage no. with the game is through memorabilia and through fun collectibles. No. I mean, that's kind of where it all started, right, with the cards. Oh, Zane, do you have anything no. that you're, like, the most proud of? Anything that you I own yeah, from so Yu-Gi-Oh? Th- this, oh, this, he's this gonna show it. it. Let's go. <laughs> all yeah. right. All so now we're gonna get a, uh, okay. an idea of, you, of his uh, time in the game. Let's see what he's got in here. Let's see. And obviously, I have to... Let's see if you got something dope in there. Oh, that's dope. And obviously, it's just one of my most powerful cards. That's why I like it so much. Okay. Um, what other powerful cards do you have? Oh, that's dope. Um, shooting Quasar is one of my favorites. Yeah. Go what ahead. other spice yeah. do you have in there? It's a powerful secret Pull it up. Monster. Let me see. Put the cards to the camera. Out, uh, those are both no, put to the, the cards on the camera. Type. Put all Stardust, of them up there. Oh, there did this card uh, inspire your song titled Stardust in any way? <laughs> it's a complete coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> it's like subliminally in there, you know, Stardust. Yeah. And, and it just came out subconsciously. Yeah, but I didn't consciously think of, about it. I'm going to have to check yeah, out that song, that Stardust. We have to it's check really that out. It's a really good song. I've been playing it. It's fantastic. Yeah. You have to Love check that out. Wait, can you bring up the binder one more time? Yeah, put, no, open the binder. Is that Sharpie? No, that bring you, it up. Open it. It is, yeah. That, <laughs> The no, movies, yeah. open it, open yeah. it, open yeah. it, open yeah. it. Yeah. it. Yeah. Didn't have enough space, <laughs> <laughs> enough space for the hit. Didn't, didn't really figure it out. Went a bit it too far good. along. Open it, it no. That's classic oh. playground. You get right there. Come That's on, amazing. you're supposed to open it. I don't think. 
eight-year-old me would have been able to do anything even close to that. That's crazy. You're supposed to open it. You're supposed to open it. You're supposed to Billy uh, break it we'll, open. We'll look forward for future albums to see other subliminal Yu-Gi-Oh names <laughs> make oh, it no, into songs. Back oh, my Jordan God. This, 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 whole, this whole yeah. stream. That actually that actually is a great analogy for this whole stream. You showed me a binder. You told me it was cool stuff in it, and you didn't show me what was inside of the yacht. Will be really confused, but Music to Dubai. the people, <laughs> the people that love it are gonna love it. He's a know? real fan. He's a real fan. <laughs> it's, it's genuine. That's how we know. Well, actually, I did. I did have a question at that point because obviously a musical artist, you know, you, you multi award winning, uh, multi platinum selling. Uh, the it could have helped itself, if they put one song. I up love there. the Yu Gi Oh music. Um, I did mention you, Stardust. The, the genres change all the time, right? We have like rock and roll kind of theme in GX. We have like the epic Egyptian theme from the original show. If you were to make a Yu Gi Oh theme <laughs> song, Egyptian. what genre of music would you choose? <laughs> I didn't know that was a genre. Uh, but for me, that I sounds think I'd have cool. To do something like real, like. Uh, <laughs> Early 2000s rock. Um, Ooh. And, yeah, that's dope. Uh, yeah, and just that, I would love that. In the that would be uh, like yeah, yeah. Like yeah he knows. Like yeah, he, okay. He's he's tapped in. Music, yeah, you know, at least like, he's tapped in. Um, at least he's tapped in. And, like again, uh, not and, knocking uh, him, knocking like, kind of uh, the setup of what this is, kind of. But at least they got someone who's tapped in and passionate. Like you can't knock, you can't knock that. He's tapped in and passionate. You know what I'm saying? Show with us so far. I I mean. Not, Being not tapped sure in and passionate thing, is all that really matters. Other. But I want to give you but the opportunity. Konami and these events, man. Y'all hire me for event you know, help, you man. I will help you do a good right event. Now, I will so make you, you something like good, man. Konami going to follow my steps to make some cool hype stuff, man. Come on. This was very fun. And I have some interesting stuff coming out with my music pretty soon. Let's go. big announcements coming up. Drop your Instagram in the stream. I've got some cool news coming. Drop, yeah. drop the I Instagram. I, I'm sure if you search his name in Instagram, you could find it. For the Shadow Duels. And Zane <laughs> Malik. I, I, you know, it's funny. I have my glasses well. on. I thought so it said Zane here. Merrick. Yeah, really I like awesome. Zane yeah, Merrick. I, I was listening to that. Like he took, I, thought, uh, I thought his last name was Merrick. And I was like, what are they doing here? I'm completely thrown off. Of course. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Zane, I, I teased it earlier <laughs> that we had a couple of hints that people were guessing along throughout the last month. Maybe I was uh, able to guess a little early through the hints, but I want to cover some of them with you because we learned a lot about you, not just as an artist, uh, but just as a person. So let's take a look at the hint number one, clue number one that was given out here. And I want to take some time with you while we have <laughs> you on stream to, to learn a little bit more about you. Yeah, uh, I didn't have as, to do this person, part. A 